National Paranormal Emergency Service, NPES. Overview, the National Paranormal Emergency Service, a security agency of the Republic of Korea, is a secret presidential organization to cope with paranormal cases in Korean territory. The NPES was founded per the joint statement of December 5th issued by the Korean government under agreement with the Foundation and the GOC. Since the ROK government signed the ROK Foundation Memorandum of Agreement on Anomalies of the Korean Peninsula, company known as the Pearson Memorandum in 1981, Korea has entirely delegated paranormal security issues to the Foundation. However, the ever-increasing anomalous threat in the 21st century, especially the rise of illegal paranormal organizations, domestic activities called for a more appropriate response system. The ROK government persuaded the Foundation for the establishment of the NPES and initiated a crackdown mission by listing GOIs from 2018. The NPES is capable of quickly detecting anomalies and deploying on-site personnel thanks to the linkage between government organizations and surveillance assets deployed across the country. However, under the Person Memorandum, the NPES does not possess any anomalous objects or technology that utilizes them and are to hand over most of the anomalies they have retrieved to the Foundation. The NPES is a national agency that prioritizes the national interest and public safety of the Republic of Korea and is a latecomer that entered the International Paranormal Society belatedly with many restrictions. The NPES aims to benefit from the GOC and the Foundation by maintaining a good relationship with them, but is not wholly dictated by the principles of conduct. Dino Dawn's Hand Overview Dino Dawn's Hand is a subordinate organization of the Serpent's Hand, which is active in the Korean Peninsula. It is not clear when exactly was the sale of the Serpent's Hand organized in the Korean Peninsula. They are completely undetectable until a clash with the Foundation in 2011. Since the appearance of 2011, they are frequently struggling against GOC Far East located in Japan. The Foundation Korean Regional Command is consuming considerable asset and manpower to conceal their struggle and its sign from the public. Occasionally, the Foundation suffers collateral damage from them, but the Donodon's Hand is avoiding active engagement with the Foundation. This is considered as a strategic avoidance to prevent a two-front war, and it is believed that they are hostile to Foundation as well as GOC. Celeste Overview Celeste is a private education business in Korea. It aims to improve the client's academic performance by offering anomalous products and services while operating underground to shake off organizations such as the Foundation. Celeste is primarily known to operate within education complexes in Seoul but has numerous front companies and affiliate businesses. Due to this, little information is known about its core architecture or members. Known affiliates of Celeste include RJ Stationery, Pioneer Academy, and education consultation firm Gruon Inc., but not much is known about their connections to Celeste. The exact date of Celeste's founding is unknown but its earliest known operations date back to the mid-2010s. No activity outside Korea has been observed to date, but the number of reports regarding its activity in the Korean private education industry is steadily on the rise. Related anomalous technologies are generally considered not very dangerous. However, considering that Celeste aims to serve clients of a certain age group its expansion might potentially be a significant threat to the Foundation's veil policy. 
The Foundation continues tracking the least under the cooperation of the Republic of Korea Police Force and the National Paranormal Agency Service, NPES. Beyond Entropy, BE Overview Beyond Entropy is one of the groups of interest that try to overcome environmental crises by using anonymous items. In the old days, the members of a minor environmental group called ESC, Environmental Shelter Community, agonized over the second law of thermodynamics and learned information of objects that are classified as ectoentropic from the SCP Foundation. They got some real ectoentropic SCP items and visited a famous person called Bernard Engelbert who once departed the ESC because they needed some aid of capital of him. After several hostile contacts with the Foundation, they made a new secret underground organization beyond entropy that was headed by Bernard Engelbert, holding the old organization for a service party. Now the group is known as Edible Scraps Community. BE does its task based on the custom signed cell system, and each cell works with their own purpose. For this reason, BE makes various environmental works, which are associated with irregular elements. Its task, as well as study of the actual entropy, such as extortion of SCP items of the Foundation, development of new anomalous items, Rescue of the beings which suffer from anomalous things, sabotage of a machine civilization, and actor activity by application of SCP items. Although the Foundation already have punished several cellular points organizations, the Foundation cannot be in the least daunted the activity of BE because they hide its leadership in core research facilities exhaustively. BE members armed with firearms in the regions will permit possession of arms, and they are at enmity with the Foundation. The Tenth Bureau, Korean Central Intelligence Agency Overview The Korean Central Intelligence Agency Tenth Bureau was a pro-normality government facility of the Fourth Republic of Korea which lasted from 1973 to 1981, the 10th Bureau mobilized anomalies for the benefit of the South Korean regime under the pretense of restoring paranormal sovereignty by absorbing professional human resources nationally and globally. The Bureau quickly grew into a force to be reckoned with. During this growth, the South Korean government attempted to replace the foundation with the KCIA 10th Bureau, placing a burden on the Foundation Korean Regional Command's actions. Since 1945, the South Korean government has left anomalies in the Southern Korean Peninsula in the Foundation's hands. However, such cooperation was discontinued after the founding of the 10th Bureau. Albeit the Foundation's presence on the Korean Peninsula, the 10th Bureau, which aggressively gathered, assessed, and weaponized anomalies, emerged as a considerable threat to the Foundation, despite its lack of theoretical background. After seven years of constant constraint, alas, following the political turmoil in October 1979, the conflict lowed down as the KICA, including the 10th Bureau, spiraled into dysfunction. Following the reorganization of the KCIA to the Agency for National Security Planning, ANSP, in 1981, the 10th Bureau was dissolved, along with other cooperative departments scattered about the government structure. The Foundation absorbed most personnel and assets, but there are confirmed cases of acquisitions by other groups of interest. The Foundation then took control of the anomalies in South Korea, neither cooperating with the NPS founded in 2018 to this day. Blocksoft Overview Blocksoft is the video game company which produces anomalous video games. They're firstly detected by the Foundation in Tony Beep, 
during their investigation into the case about SCP-185-KO. This company is known to sell their games on their online game mall, Beep, but the foundation has been failing in all attempts to access this shopping site by unknown causes. Although the foundation chased Plugsoft through various means since first contact, little is known about Plugsoft. The only source of the information about them is the company's personnel who appear in the foundation facilities and SCPs for the activities called the bug fix. Most arrested personnel rejected the statement and automatically vanished away, so the foundation only figured out from the personnel that Fluxsoft intend to influence a reality. According to the research on the video games of Fluxsoft, there seem to be a few gamers who are playing these games, but the attempt to find the gamers has also been fruitless to date. Some of the games are significantly dangerous, so the Foundation presumed that Plugsoft did not pursue a positive way. Plugsoft create games belonging to various genres, such as PC games, console games, mobile games, and board games. Plugsoft seems to have a space warping technology or more, but their technical limitations are unknown. Noonday Oak Troop Note Overview Originally, this troupe was one of the bands which are made up of street musicians who performed in the Beep City, Taiwan in 19 BT. Note says that they can control the people's feelings, even natural phenomenons in some cases, by their music. After the end of the Sino-Japanese War, the whole country was devastated. This group and local people have been persecuted, so the troop held a concert to encourage people to take part in philanthropy to help paupers under the model be against dictatorship and communism and help the people in need. Thereafter, the troop's second generation made an orchestra with comrades who agree with them, created some musicals, hosted a world tour concert, and finally formed Note. Note make musical instruments with anomalous items and performed them. In some cases, performers and manufacturers seem to be humanoid SCP objects. The troupe only used anomalous objects for classical instruments in the early days, but now they use anomalous electronic instruments and equipment also. After the joining of Japanese electronic instrument specialist Beep and Korean personal electronic device engineer Beep. Sometimes note donate anomalous items to the public in goodwill, but most of them malfunction or even cause harm to people. In these cases, the foundation cooperate with note to reduce the damage occurred by the items and prevent the worst situations. Note also knows the circumstances and frequently asks for help from the foundation. Despite these continual failures, note won't give up and resume activity. The relationship between Note and the Foundation is amicable. The Foundation treat this group as the last place of the caution ranking.